died in a house fire in Tingsboro, and her stepfather and firefighters couldn't save her. WBZ's Brandon Truitt is live in Tingsboro tonight. Brandon, firefighters say that they had some trouble actually moving through that house. There were a lot of moving parts here, Lisa. In fact, neighbors are telling us tonight that the woman uh, was known as kind, warm, and that she loved her animals. I want to take you in and show you crews have just left minutes ago after boarding up what's left of this home. And now investigators are looking into the first deadly fire here in years. First responders were on Fletcher Street for much of Thursday after a fire ripped through this home, killing a woman inside. Video from above shows smoke billowing from the home. Firefighters tell us this started on the first floor before ripping through the attic. Tingsboro police were on scene first, finding a man out front pleading for help. Neighbors tell us the man stays in a building on the property and is in a wheelchair. He couldn't enter the house himself. The man told police a woman was still in the burning home. Officers tried to enter. Uh, he was unable to get through the thick smoke uh, and he had to retreat to the outside of the building. Sir, it's unable to locate a victim at this time. Firefighters showed up moments later and geared up to face the flames. The crews made a quick entry and uh, had a little bit of challenge getting through the home and getting to the back bedroom where they were able to find a victim and remove her from the home. The victim, described by neighbors as a woman in her 20s, died moments later. I saw the fire trucks out here and um, you know, it was all chaos after that. John Smith says the woman was living here with her mother and her mother's longtime companion. She was a, she was a very kind girl, she always said hi. She, she loved her animals. She, she, she loved life. This small town feeling a major loss and left tonight wondering why. We'll, we'll find a way. We always know. Police tell us that two dogs also died in this fire. They have not released the name of the young woman as the fire marshal's office continues to investigate. Live in Tingsboro, Brandon Truitt, WBZ News. Brandon, thank you. Supreme